Okay, today's lesson is about self-introduction. So we are going to watch a video clip about how to introduce ourselves. Okay, uh, welcome to everyone, Willie and Haley and Chu Hao. Once again, I'm teacher Yi. Uh, I like students to talk to me. If you have any questions, always ask questions. Don't worry about making mistakes. Dare to make mistakes. Okay, don't worry. Just try to learn to say things and also to ask questions. Okay, we shall begin. Okay. All right. If you cannot hear the sound, do let us know. Okay, let me know. Introducing yourself and meeting new people. Hi, my name is Lindsay and I'm five years old. I'm in kindergarten and I... Can you hear the voice? Can you hear the sound? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Have much fun every day. I love the stories our teacher tells us, and I love my friends. I was born in Germany, but I live in Minnesota, United States. We moved here when I was two years old. I have a beautiful family. My mom, my dad, my brother Tom, and my sister Sarah. We have great fun together. My favorite activity in my leisure time is riding a bike. I've got a cute puppy and I love playing with it. My favorite food is pizza. Hi, my name is Bernardo. But my friends call me Bernie. I'm nine years old and I am in the third grade. I live in Mexico. It is an amazing country with many fun places to go. There are six people in my family, including me, my father, my mother, my two sisters, and my elder brother. I am the youngest. I like reading books and watching movies with superheroes. When I grow up, I'd like to become a police officer. My favorite subject is math, because I like solving problems. I love sports. I'm crazy about swimming. I can swim a lot in one hour. My favorite food is fish and chips. My name is Robbie. I am 19 years old and I am a college student. I live in Manchester, UK. I'm an only child. I haven't got any brothers or sisters, but I've got two very loving parents. I study science and I'd like to become a scientist. I'd love to be able to make new discoveries all the time. My favorite hobby is traveling and exploring new things. One of my dreams is to be able to go hang gliding someday in the future. It must be very exciting. I usually have a healthy lifestyle. I eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Hi, my name is Ashley and I am 30 years old. I live in Sydney, Australia. I am married and I've got two beautiful children. I am a teacher at a primary school in Sydney and I absolutely love my job. I enjoy gardening whenever I have free time. I like watching family comedies with happy endings. And I dislike drama and thrillers. My favorite food is Japanese food. I think it is the healthiest food in the world. Excuse 
me. Is the seat taken? No, it's not. You may sit down. Thanks. Do you happen to know which stop I should get off at to be able to reach the center of the city? Of course, I can guide you there if you like, because I live right there. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you. I'm Emma, by the way. I'm Anne. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Where are you from, Emma? I'm from Poland. I came here to study arts and design. How nice. What about you? Are you in high school or in college? I will graduate high school next year, then I'd like to study law. That sounds great. Do you live with your parents? Yes. I live in a flat with my parents and my younger sister. Were you born here in London? Yes, I was. And I have always lived in London. So what it's like to live in London? There's always something going on. There's no reason to ever be bored. But I especially adore the parks with so many activities to enjoy. What about Poland? Well, Poland has much charm. Beautiful villages and breathtaking landscapes. Maybe you'll get a chance to visit it one day. I really hope so. Well, we must get off the bus at the next stop. Great, let's go. Well, we finally reached your destination. Here it is. Thank you so much for all your help. It was so nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you too. I have to go now. Stay in touch. Have a wonderful day. You too. Thanks for watching. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to ask you to to say it, role play it. Okay. Hang on. Just a moment. I'll replay one more time, and then you have to say it. Okay. Hang on. Huh? So I'm going to mute the sound. What you guys need to do is you will take turns to share. Okay, now we have three of you here. Uh, okay, three of you. So Haley, Chu Hao, Willie. Okay, before we start here, before we do the role play, which means you will speak like the speaker speak. You just you just say the word when the with the subtitles. When the subtitles come out, you will say the word exactly the same. Okay. So Haley, you are this year 2023, you are going up to which level? Is it year? What year is that? Haley? Yeah. Year? Year? Year four. Year four. Okay. And then how about Chu Hao? Chu Hao? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Year six. Okay. And then really? Year six. Year six, okay. All right. So, well, we will use, we will do the role play later on. And then along the way, I will explain some of the words, some of the vocabs to you. Okay, don't worry that, oh, I don't understand the word. Don't worry, teacher is going to explain it to you. And also you need to have an exercise book to write down the vocabulary that you learn along the way. Okay, all right, we shall start. When I call your name, you just say the word. I'm going to mute the sound and then you just- Introducing yourself yeah, and meeting yeah. new people. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to call the first person. It's true. How can you read this? Say it. Hi, my name is Lizzie. 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 And I am five years old. I am in kindergarten and I have much fun every day. I love the stories our teacher tells us and I love my friends. Okay, do you have any words you do not understand? Everyone understand, no. right? No, right? Okay, thank you. Hi, my our teacher. Okay, next person I will call. Okay, Chu Hao, you say this one again, this one. I'm 
was born in Ger Germany, but I live in Minnesota. 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 United States. No, United Min States. United States. United States. We moved here uh, when I here, was here. here. We moved here when I was two years old. Okay, so this person is actually he was born. This uh this kindergarten uh girl, she, she was born in Germany, but she lives in Minnesota, United States. Okay, Minnesota is in United States. Minnesota is a state, like a州, all right? We moved here when I was two years old. So since two years old, her parents bring her to United States, okay? But she was born in Germany. Okay, next. Okay, next person, Haley, can you read this? Can you say this? Yes, I have a beautiful family. My mom, my dad, my brother, Tom, and my sister. Sarah, we have great fun together. Good job. Okay, so this person, she has a beautiful family and her mom, her dad, her brother, and her sister. Her sister's name is called Sarah, my sister. Her sister's name is called Sarah. Okay, that's why there's a comma here. So we have great fun together. That means they have great time together in uh, living as a beautiful family. Okay. Just a moment. Okay. Oh, hang on. I think. Okay, this one, uh, Haley, can you continue? Hey. My favorite activity in my leisure time. Leisure time is riding a bike. Riding a bike. Riding, say with me, riding. Riding a bike. Okay, I want you, all of you, to write down favorite activity. Favorite activity, write it down in your exercise book and also you write down today's date. Today is... What day is this today? Can you, any one of you tell us what day is today? 19 January. Yes. 2023. Good job. 19, 19th of January 2023. Because when you go up to form one, in exam, they will ask you to write the date, especially in reading paper. So you need to know how to write the date. There are two ways of writing you can write. Different ways. 19 January. This is a full form. Or you can you can say 19th got th of January 2023. Okay, there are three ways of writing the date. Okay, so you need to know how to write. Okay, so today's date is 19th of January 2023, and then you write favorite, favorite. Activity. Favorite activity means, what does that mean? Any one of you? Really, do you understand what's the meaning of favorite activity? Hobby. Say again. Hobby. Yeah, the Hodong. That means, the Hodong. That means the, the, the activity that you love the most. The activity, the activity you love the most. Three either. Okay. Leisure time, write it down. Leisure time means past time. Past time. Past time is does not mean no. Past time means the things that you do during your free time, things that you like to do during free time. Okay, you write down, just show leisure time. Okay, 
leisure time. Uh, hang on. Uh, it's a time for you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you just write down time. A time. A, a relaxing time for you to do pastime. Okay. A relaxing 一个很轻松的时间去做这些消遣. Pastime 是消遣. 休闲时间啊，yes，休闲，leisure time是休闲，good job，休闲时间，时间。Okay，so the meaning of it, 什么是休闲时间？That means 一个很轻松的时间，让你去做消遣的东西。Okay，消遣的东西，good job。Okay，so uh, because there's a question, I remember there's one question asking the student to talk about their pastime, right? And they talk about in the past, what is their experience? So the whole question, they do not get a marks. Okay, so because they speak out of topic. So you need to understand what's the meaning of pastime. Leis pastime is a time where uh, it's a thing that you do during the leisure time. So leisure time means 休闲时间. It's a relaxing time for you to do the pastime. Okay, so that's the meaning. Yeah. So if you finish writing and writing, writing come from, comes from the word write. Comes from the word write. 就是起的意思. If you, if you do not understand the meaning, you better write it down. Ah. 起脚车 Qi, hmm, I'm not sure whether I can find the word Chinese word here. Qi, qi, qi. Hmm, found it. Okay. Writing is a present participle with ing. The original word is write. Okay, just a qi. All right. If you finish, you put a thumbs up and let me see. So another extra word for you here. Last time. Last time is a hobby. 简单讲就是hobby. 你的兴趣,消遣的东西,或者是你的兴趣,有兴趣做的东西,消遣的东西,or兴趣, both means the same thing, 兴趣. Okay. 兴趣或者是消遣时候做的东西 is called pastime. Okay, if you finish, you put a thumbs up. Okay, great. I see Haley's hand. Haley, do you understand the meaning yeah. of this? Okay, good. Okay, I saw Willie's hand. Chuha, are you still writing? So how are you done? Done. Okay, great. Can you raise here? Okay. Next person, hang on. Okay, Willie, your turn. I've I've got a cute puppy and I love playing with it. Okay. Okay, continue, Willy. My favorite food is pizza. Okay, great. Okay, this time, uh, Willy, you continue. 
Billy? Hi, my name is Bernardo, but my friends call me in Bernie. Call me Bernie. I'm in and I'm nine years old and I am in the third grade. Okay, third grade means standard three. Third grade means standard three or year three. Okay, this person is called Bernardo. People call him Bernie. He he is in, he's nine years old and he is in year three. Means third grade. All right. Okay, now continue, Willy. I live in Mexico. It is an amazing country with many fun places. Fun go. places, fun places. Fun places to go. Okay, write down amazing country. Country means 国家. Amazing, 很棒的国家. Write down amazing country. Malaysia is an amazing country too because it has a lot of great people like Chinese, uh, Malay, Indian, and other, other native people like Dusun Kadasan. So our country is an amazing country. Malaysia is a very amazing country. Write down fun places. Fun places means 很多有趣的地方,有趣的地方. So you write down English, okay, write it down English. If you want to write Chinese, it's okay. Because when I say the Chinese, you can just write the Chinese, okay? If you're done, put a thumbs up. Okay, I see your hand, good. All right, so moving on. Okay, on. Oh, 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 just a moment. Okay, now, uh, really, you continue. There are six people in my family, including me, my father, my mother, my two sisters, and my elder brother. I am the youngest. Good. Okay, continue. Really continue. I like reading books and watching movies with superheroes. Okay, write down superheroes. Superheroes are those heroes uh, that have superpower. Superheroes, I believe that all of you have superheroes that you love, right? Like Ultraman, like uh, anything, any superheroes you like? Do you have any superhero or Captain America? Okay, or Spider-Man, all these are called superheroes, all right? I like reading. You cannot say I like read books, no. you. I like reading because like is a verb. The second word must be in ing. I like reading books and watching movies. And watching movies with superhero. Okay, all right, moving on. Okay, this one, Haley, your turn. My favorite subject is mathematics mm -hmm. because I like solving 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 problems solving problems good job well three I the subject is mathematics short form we can you can say math say we mean math math good job 因为我喜欢 solve problem. 写下, write it down. Solving problem means 解决问题. Solving means write it down. 解决. 解, okay. 解, all right. Uh, 解决问题. Okay. 因为我喜欢解决问题. That's why I like math. All right. Solving problem means 解决问题. 
Okay, finish. Okay. Are you okay? Yes, okay. All right, moving on. Oops, oops, oops. Where am I? Just a moment, ah. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, it's my bad. Oh. Okay, next. Uh, Haley. When I grow up, I would like, I would like, I would like to become a police officer. officer. Apostrophe D, apostrophe D is a short form of, is a short form of this, would. Would, the apostrophe is, the short form of would is apostrophe D. Sorry, apostrophe D. You can say, I like to become a police officer. How do you read it? Sometimes you cannot hear the D sound. You just say, I'd like. I'd, I'd like. If you want to read slowly, you can say, I would like to become a police officer. Understand? Two ways of saying it. If you want to read without the long form word, you read it as, I'd, I'd like to become. If you read out the long form would, you can say, I would like to become a police officer. Okay, so write down police officer in your exercise book. Police officer means 警察官员, 警察官, 警察, 做警察的人, it's called police officer. Okay, all right, next person. Oh, why am I? I just keep on flipping back here and there. Okay, here, this one. Uh, Haley, continue. I love sports. I'm crazy about swimming. I can swim a lot in one hour. In one hour. This one, H, no sound, silent H sound. You, you sound O, U, R, hour. You don't sound H. I, I can swim a lot in one hour. You don't say one hour. Understand? No H sound. It's You sound O. Sound O. Crazy about means I love swimming. 我为游泳疯狂. That means I love swimming very much. Okay? Write down crazy about. Write down crazy about. All right? Okay, you finish. Crazy about, just feng kuang. Okay, next. Okay, Chu Hao, your turn. Hi, my name is Robby. I am 19 years old and I am a college student. College, college. College. Student, college, just... 大学学生,学院或者是大学, university, some people will say uh, university is 大学, okay, college是学院, usually college are those people who get diploma, diploma 文凭啊, okay, university we call it, we get a degree, it's higher, you get degree, okay, you get degree or master, oh yeah, sure, really go ahead. Thank you for informing me. Degree, you get a degree, master or PhD. 你读大学, 你可以拿 degree, 学士文凭, 硕士文凭和博士文凭. But if you study in college, you get a diploma or uh, you get a certificate. Okay. After you finish college, you can continue on to study in university. Some people choose to study in college. It's enough for them. It's okay. All right. College is 学院, university is 大学. Okay, college student. Okay, some even they say that they think that they are, when they study in, in university, some of them even say that they are college. It's okay. We understand. All right. Okay, finish writing? Yes. Okay, uh, great. Okay. 
All right, moving on. Okay, um, 